Hey guys, it's Sam, I'm the Technical Product Specialist here at Zsphere, the cloud solutions provider for MSPs. So this is the seventh and final video in the series of Ninja RMM how-to videos. So today we're going to be checking out backups. So we're going to be looking at how to set up the Cloudberry integration in Ninja RMM, how to set up the different types of backups, and also how to view the information on backups in the reports. Okay, so you can see here, we're back in the dashboard in Ninja, which is the first page that we come to when we log into our account. So to access the Cloudberry integration, we need to go to configuration, integrations, and Cloudberry. Now you can see that I've already started the first process. So normally it's a setup here. You click setup and you get a couple of options to choose your region. I've chosen my region, which is London. Um, once that's done, it does take a couple of minutes, which is why I've skipped ahead and done this step in advance. So the next thing that we need to do is go into the policy settings. So you can see in here, guys, we've got the backups uh, beta section. So we've got a few test plans that I've already set up here, but I'll run you through the backup plans. So there are two different types of plans. You've got file and folder and you've got image plan. So we're going to select file and folder just so I can show you how to set up a plan. So you type in a name in here um, you select your schedule. So you can do daily, weekly, monthly or every. You can select a local time and then you've got some options at the bottom here. I recommend you just leave those set to default. So in your source folder here, you can choose the folders that you want to um, back up. So I want to back up my pictures, for example, and um, application data. Destination is to the cloud. And then we've got some filters. So you can choose all files, which I'm going to leave it set to. But you can also include and exclude certain files as well. So this is great for you guys as MSPs. If you want quite granular backups for your customers, um, you can do that all in here. It's a really good little tool. Um, and then you've also got retention options as well. So I'm going to go ahead and click save on that and then close. So once we've set up the backup plan within policy, we need to come out of there and we need to go into the organization setup. So I'm going to do that now. So I need to choose my organization to turn on backup plans for. So it's as simple as when you go into an organization, you choose all devices and click yes. So this will basically deploy all um, the devices that you've got on there. It'll deploy Cloudberry to all of those and click save and then come out of there. Now I'm going to show you um, one that I've already set up in an organization. So let's take a look at that. So if we go into the settings tab, you can see here, this is the little pop-up box that you get. So once you've actually set up your Cloudberry integration, you can see that you've got lots of different types of restores. Now, this is an awesome feature for MSPs, guys. So you can choose a really granular um, backup solution here. So we've got file and folder restore. We've got bare metal, which was a feature that was really highly requested. Uh, physical dish restore, virtual dish restore, and synchronize. Now you can choose any of your plans. So you can see all of the plans that I've set up there within the policy settings. So I can choose any of those. So I'm going to go ahead and choose test one. And that's just going to run now in the background. So while that's running, I'm going to show you um, the reporting feature within Ninja um, for the Cloudberry information. So you can see here in the regular report, we've actually got an option for backups on here. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that report um, just so you'll get an idea of the information that will be drawn in the report. So the backup section is right down at the bottom. Um, so here it is, guys. Um, 
backup plans. So you can see here that we've got backup licenses, we've got the device name and the workstation. Total space used is no at the moment. We've got backup plans listed here and backup history. So because this report hasn't actually run yet, it's not picked up on the information, but you can see the kind of information that would be drawn from the Ninja RMM and Cloudberry integration here. It's a great little feature. Um, it even tells you how much um, data you've copied across, um, the total data that you've copied, the start and next start of your backup plans. So you can see um, when all of your plans are going to fall in place, what's going to be backed up and when. I think it's a really great little feature. So for you guys that are looking at a really good backup solution, as well as Ninja RMM, I think the two go hand in hand and we highly recommend that you uh, have a look at Cloudberry. So guys, that was the video for backups. So I'm guessing that you might have some questions or some feedback on the videos. If you've got any questions on Cloudberry or Ninja RMM or any of our other products, then feel free to get in touch. My details are on screen right now. And also don't forget, join our MSP partner program. So the Zsphere MSP partner program has been set up just for you guys. So you'll get additional discounts on top of your MSP discounts. You'll get extended trials free product licenses. You'll get a subscription to our quarterly magazine, Zed, which has got lots of hints and tips in there. And you get lots of other great benefits as well. It takes 20 seconds to sign up. So head to zsphere.com, sign up now and you won't be disappointed. Thanks for watching the video today, guys. That was the seventh and final video in the series of Ninja RMM how-to videos covering backup.